Hey guys, today we are doing a different type of video. Today we will be listing down the top 5 cars displayed at Monterey Car Week and in particular the Quail Auto Show. In this list we will be listing down only the new cars that have been launched so we won't obviously be adding cars like the McLaren F1 or a Pagani Zonda into this list. But be sure to comment down below what was your favorite car displayed at Monterey Car Week. Let's get into the list. Texas Tuning House Hennessy has come to this year's Quail event with their highly anticipated Venom F5. A follow-up to the top speed record holder for street legal cars, the Venom F5 is the successor to the Venom GT. The F5 has a 7.6 litre twin turbo V8 producing 1600 horsepower. Hennessy claims that this will be the first street legal car to hit 300 miles per hour. Only time will tell. Revived Italian manufacturer De Tommaso has come out with one of the most exquisite looking cars displayed at the Quail event. Called the P72, it shares most of its underbody components such as the chassis and the engine with the absolutely wild Apollo Intenza Emozione. The P72's design is based on the P70 race car and Le Mans racers from the 1970s. De Tommaso will sell only 72 units of the P72. The SSC Tuatara is an upcoming hypercar from SSC, the same people who built the Ultimate Aero back in 2004. Yeah, they're not really that famous, but the Tuatara's design is completely based on a fighter jet. SSC say that when they made the Tuatara, they thought of streamline and aero rather than ergonomics. Why did they think that, you ask? Well, even they claim that the Tuatara will hit 300 miles per hour. Lotus has kind of been at the back of the sports car race for quite a while with only two models for sale, the Exige and the Evora. And after almost 10 years, they have finally unveiled a brand new car, the Lotus Evaya. The Evaya is something completely different and completely new from Lotus. It is their first attempt at two things, a hypercar and also an electric car. The Evaya will be the lightest production EV hypercar according to Lotus and will also make 2000 horsepower from 4 electric motors powering each wheel. The design and interior is just a complete revamp from any other Lotus. Lotus has truly made a statement by unveiling this car. Bugatti have been on a roll for the past 2-3 years by unveiling a brand new model or configuration at every show they attend. This time they have unveiled the Cento DFG. It pays homage to the Bugatti EB110 and will be limited to only 10 units. It has the same engine as the Chiron, only tuned for a little bit more power, 100 horsepower to be exact. The Cento DFG borrows a lot of styling cues from the EB110 like the front bumper with the small horseshoe and the slats beside them, the holes behind the top side of the door, the spoiler and much more. This car will cost you 8 million euros, more than anything that I can even ever dream. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your favorite car from Monterey Car Week. And if we missed out on any car that had been launched at the Quail or any other auto show from the Monterey Car Week, let us know in the comments down below.